through the carbonate, that's how I got free. Drop it back off because there's no stopping me. Postmodern player, sample tastic, flows it frastic. I get drastic. Hey, watch the plastic. Yo, I name check and leave you drastic. Welcome to the MacGuffin, episode 162. I'm Spencer. I'm Greg. Today we're talking our DV rundown. Mm -hmm. Almost got confused there. Yep. For the week of <laughs> June 19th. Yes. Boom! Good. Victory is mine. <laughs> it's kind of an interesting little week we got going on mm -hmm. here. Some good stuff, some stuff without some features, mm -hmm. which is kind of a bummer, you know. Mm -hmm. A little bit of this and that. Yeah. Let's start at the top with one of the big surprise hits so far this mm -hmm. year, Project X. It's coming out with a Blu-ray DVD combo plus ultraviolet copy. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of a nice little package, mm -hmm. actually. It's got an extended cut of the film. This is, the, this is obviously the big party yeah. film yeah. where they destroy a house mm -hmm. and whatnot. So, Loosely um, connected to Todd Phillips. Produced by, I think. Right? Yes, yeah. or one of one of somebody one, connected like, the Hangover. Yeah, yeah it was yeah. tough. It's like maybe he's like one of eight co-executive producers yeah, yeah. or something. <laughs> yeah, and this is based on sort of a true story about I believe a kid in Australia yeah. who yeah. sort of did something similar. Now, obviously not this crazy, but destroyed house mm -hmm. nevertheless. Yeah. And so you got the extended cut. You have um, this is the one I like, Damage Control, which is a sort of. Um, a look over how much it would cost to repair mm. the damage they did. I thought it was like a tub. It would be like a pop-up video, like running total as the movie's going, like, cha ching this cost $82,000. That, like, that would be pretty funny, yeah. No, that would actually be interesting. I think they know, but they have an insurance adjuster talking mm. about how much okay. it would actually... Which I, th I think is pretty cool. I'd love to... Like, I'm the kind of nerd who's like, I wonder how much <laughs> that costs right there. How much does it cost to get a car out of a pool? <laughs> like, I'm, I'm that nerd. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's got that. It's got a... A, uh, a look at the three n newbie leads mm -hmm. in the movie, those mm -hmm. three young guys, so it's got a little bit about that, and it's got a feature out about how they changed the suburban town to be the setting for this gotcha. massive party thing, which is pretty cool. Hmm. I, th I mean, the film is exactly what you think it is, and if you're open to that, it's pretty fun, mm. but if you don't want just like basically a crazy party movie then <laughs> perhaps this is not for you. So Yes, yes. There's that. In the realm of awesome films, mm -hmm. we have the release of Jeff Who Lives at Home, which I've said before is Many my times. favorite film that's mm. come out thus far mm -hmm. this year. Really, really big fan of it, and yet I'm going to cry <laughs> over the release that they have coming out now. That's why we're glad they're not DVD picks and just rundowns. So we yeah. can lament on how sad this is rather than having it be your pick. Like, hey, I picked something. Number one, they're releasing Blu-ray and DVD separately. Ugh. But they do come with an ultraviolet copy, both of them, which is okay. a little bit better. Okay. Not a digital download, but ultraviolet okay. copy. So at least they're working towards it. But no special features. Absolutely nothing. Like not e not nothing? N nothing. Not even like one deleted scene? Nope, no. nothing. No, no commenter. I, the Duplass brothers would be hilarious and fascinating. You might to as to. well just uh, download it off the internet at that point. Shh, no, no. I like the Duplass brothers. <laughs> I'm so just we, kidding. We don't want to do that to them. But they're such interesting guys that I, I, I think I relate more to their films than any other films, hmm. like Puffy Chair. Mm. Like who hasn't been in a relationship that's gone on too long? You know, stuff like that. Yeah. Like their films are so relatable. Dodecapentathlon. You know that competitive nature mm -hmm. that we all all sort of have inside of us they're so relatable and i i would love to hear them mm. just discuss the film and how they made it maybe they're too busy they do Jay, they have mark duplass is a crazy crazy <laughs> year so far this year i'm just hoping there's another version mm -hmm. they release down the road or something because yeah. this is just so uninspired in terms of special features but suppose stab spencer in the heart that's what you did yep. that's what you did people. i did i did read that the digital transfer on the blu-ray copy is pretty good looking so if that's any consolation you know <laughs> i guess but womp womp yeah sad come on yeah. come on duplus brothers mm -hmm. you can do better you can do better you can we've seen it yeah moving right along we got one of the sort of interesting little tv shows that quite hasn't gotten as much acclaim as others but mm. has sort of begun to get a little bit of a following and that's franklin and bash I season never one heard of this series this is the one that stars let's see it's got uh brecken meyer and hmm. mark paul gosseler as sort of huh. two sort of i don't know if okay. you call them slackery type friends but they're okay. two lawyers who are kind of hmm. younger and more uh, outrageous. Edgy. Than, yeah. And they've <laughs> been brought on to work sort of for the competition, which is a mm. more stuffy law firm gotcha. run by Malcolm McDowell. Hmm. 
Which Interesting. Is, yeah. What channel is this on? Like TNT. USA? Oh. No, TNT. <laughs> that was close. T- no, TNT. <laughs> TNT's been remarkably solid. You know, they they they're growing their little base. They got Dallas coming out and stuff like that. So, I uh, I I will admit. I was a, I was a little surprised TNT, but you know they got like I believe Southlands on there. Mm. Like they they have a remarkably <laughs> extensive collection of TV shows that when Brenda Strong and Jesse Metcalf were in town, they sort of reeled off, and I was like, oh mm. yeah, I kind of I like that show, and I, I kind of do like that <laughs> show. So Thank TNT surprisingly positive. Uh, this one is a sort of a fun sort of spin on the lawyer show. A lot of times it's a little bit more serious. This mm-hmm. is kind of more towards the Boston legal gotcha. side of things. And I like Breckenmeyer and I like Mark Paul Gosselaar a lot. And I liked both of them about 10 plus years uh, ago. I'm, I'm still on board. I'm still on board <laughs> with Mark Paul Gosselaar. I've, I've never been off of him. You know, okay. Say by the bell on is uh, all good for me. That See, that for me is the ultimate reason why I don't pay attention. Starting with Say by the bell, nope, we're done. I go, I go all the way through the wedding. Post-college years, all the way. <laughs> Good, good and Breckenmeyer is just fun. they're funny. I like guys. Breckenmeyer. They're funny I guys. Breckenmeyer. So they got a gag reel behind the scenes, discussion of the friendship, mm. talking about creating the cases for it, uh, working for them, a tour mm. of the office, their man cave, legalese, hot tub. It's got a ton of little special features, which is a lot of fun. So many that you could take half of those and huck them at Jeff's that lives at home. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. They might as well share them. The thing that seemed weird to me, and let me throw this at you. Season two of Franklin Bash okay. just began last week. Interesting. Why you wouldn't release it before yeah, it started? Usually do, that's not usually the way they do it. The week before you would think, and it's basically I believe like a year or whatever since then. So I don't uh, I don't know why they waited until like the maybe third there week. literally wasn't popular enough that they had to advertise for it in season two. Maybe that was the only way they could get people to buy it. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it seems really weird. That I feel like you're missing an yeah, opportunity. No, yeah, it would so, seem like to be an obvious lead in to your second series rather than the other so way. So I believe it's about episode three or so before this is released. That's so strange. I don't know. That's strange. TNT. If this is your thing, you got to get your act together a little bit. Just throwing that out there. TNT blowing up. They're dynamite. No, they're not. <laughs> the last one we wanted to talk about is the indie film The FP. Yes. Which is right. about two rival gangs who fight for control of Fraser Park, a deadly arena and competitive dance fight video games. Yep. Uh, was it also, Beat Beat Revolution is what they play. Yeah, so it's basically Dance Dance Revolution, yes. the fighting movie. Yes. I it's think. it's one of it was one of the sort of like cult hits of 2011. Really, I people believe actually it, liked it. Some people did, yeah. Huh? Some people definitely dug it. It came out I, or premiered, I believe, at South by Southwest 2011. Yeah. So it's taken exactly. a long time to get to the DVD mm-hmm. release. I know uh, SIF had a, a screening at their cinema back in like March or hmm. April. Made in America, or do you know? Yeah, I believe Made in America by was it. Jason Trost, Jason hmm. and Brandon Trost, hmm. and yeah, no, it's, 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 it seems like an interesting thing. They have uh, was it a making of featurette? They have uh, about the Fraser Park, a return mm. to Fraser Park, and then they have the Green Band and Red Band trailers on it. So not in a super extensive one, but it's an indie film. Mm-hmm. So yeah. how often fact, do you really get a ton of featurettes? Yeah, the fact on that? that there's anything as opposed to a certain other indie featurette that we already talked yeah, about. I yeah. mean. So it's it's one of those, as I said, cult hits. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's it's definitely got a lot of notoriety. For instance, uh, Rich from the Seattle Film mm-hmm. Blog was there at the screening in South by Southwest, I believe, last year, where the, the filmmakers got drunk before the film and then proceeded to heckle during it, I believe. There's vid- <laughs> he has video of it. They took on like a, a flip video or something, so you can look that up on YouTube. But nevertheless, it's, it's, it's definitely one of those cult films. You can check out our review on MacGuffin uh, mm. site that Ben Nason did. Nice. Yeah. So check that out. Let us know what you think. And let us know what you think about all these Mm -hmm. at our website. And join us next episode for our discussion of female lead performances in advance of Brave, Mm -hmm. the latest Pixar release, which we're very excited about. And as always, you can let us know on MacGuffinPodcast.com, Twitter.com slash MacGuffinPodcast, Facebook.com slash MacGuffinPodcast. MacGuffinCast? Yeah, MacGuffinCast for Twitter. MacGuffin podcast for Facebook. Uh, three two <laughs> three. The animations tell you. Yeah, three two three seven six one nine eight four two for our phone number. Mm-hmm. We're on iTunes, Roku, Miro, uh, Blip, Blip, Guitar. Check in at Get Glue, mm-hmm. and we'll see you next time.
can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Magneto can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Even Zod can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. It's don't even try to bite the sun. Stop. Mr. Spock can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. The Wrath of Khan can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. The Borg can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. 